So when I first heard that the all new 4K Fire Stick has just been released on Amazon, I actually thought it was a joke because we've been waiting for this for a long time. I mean, the current 4K Fire Stick came out in 2018. So you can appreciate that, you know, we really do want an update to this very popular device. But lo and behold, guys, as you can see on my screen, this is on Amazon Australia and we can confirm this is the all new Fire TV Stick 4K 2021 release. So this is definitely no hoax or April Fool's joke or clickbait. This is definitely the new device, but unfortunately, it's not the device we were waiting for. So in this video today, let me show you exactly what this device is and how it compares to the current 4K Fire Stick. And I was just so shocked that I actually reached out to an ex Amazon Fire TV product manager for his comment on that. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so as mentioned, I'm on the official Amazon Australia website. So this is not some random third party site or some random blog post. This is the official Amazon website. I can go to the top and just type in all new fire TV stick. And we can see here we get, this looks like the old one. And we can see we have the two new ones, which we can identify with the remote control. Let's click on the expensive one because I'm hoping for some beefy specs, maybe 16 gig of storage. Let's have a click and have a look. I mean, the first thing we can see straight away is that we do get this new remote control where we can see we have a new color button for the A Word Assistant. And we now have four dedicated buttons for those streaming services. So, I mean, whether you use Disney or you use Amazon Music, we now have those four dedicated buttons on the remote control. Now, some of you may like these uh, shortcuts to your favorite streaming applications because it does make it easier where you can just press one button regardless of which application you're in and it'll take you straight to one of these four applications. Now, at the same time, lots of you only use your 4K Fire Stick to just access third-party applications. So if that's your use case, you're probably not going to get any benefit with these buttons unless potentially remapping them by using some third-party software. And we also see we get a dedicated button for the live TV guide, which is now properly integrated into the home screen. And these are all the standard accessories you get in the box. Now, at this point, I actually thought that everything was looking great. The remote control looks nice. We have these extra buttons. The Fire Stick itself looks the same, but let's see what we actually get inside. So let's go down in the specs. Let's scroll down. And this is it. This is where I have to start shaking my head now, guys. So this is the current Fire Stick Lite, which we know, which currently runs Fire OS 7, which is Android 9. And these are the two new sticks that they've just announced. So they're calling this the Fire TV Stick, and this is the Fire TV Stick 4K. And we can see the release year is 2021, whereas the Fire Stick Lite came out last year. Now, scrolling down, the first thing that hit me was here we can see it says up to 1080p. So this is basically going to be like your standard 1080p second generation Fire TV stick where the max resolution is only 1080p. Now, of course, the, the 4K one supports up to 4K. Now, again, scrolling down. So the first thing or the first disappointment was they have not done anything to the storage. So even though this is supposed to be the all new 2021 Fire TV stick 4K, we're still stuck with eight gigs RAM. And unfortunately guys, it just, uh, it doesn't really get any better. So here we can see they actually have the exact same CPU as the current 4K Fire Stick. And scrolling down, just under this, we can see that we see the specs guys. So we're actually talking about the same CPU, the same GPU, the same storage, the exact same amount of RAM in this quote, all new 2021 Fire TV stick. So, I mean, that is just seriously disappointing that, you know, we've been waiting for nearly three years 
for this new device to replace the current really popular 4K Fire Stick. And this is what Amazon have come out with. Um, I mean, I really was surprised with that, guys, because um, it just didn't make any sense to me that why would they announce this as the all new 2021 Fire Stick, but then have the exact same specs as the 2018 4K Fire Stick? I mean, the only thing that's changed is just that remote control. And this is where I reached out to Elias, who runs the AFTV News. Now, he's a very credible, very reliable source for all things Amazon related. And I basically just asked him via Twitter that what's going on with this device, as in why is this all new 2021 4K Fire Stick look remarkably the same as the 2018 Fire Stick when you're talking about specifications? And he basically just confirmed that this is actually the exact same Fire Stick, but this was previously not available in Australia, in Brazil, or in Mexico. So for those three countries, this is actually the first 4K Fire Stick that's been officially released in their countries. So for those guys, they are getting a brand new 4K Fire Stick remote control, but the actual device itself is the same that we've had in the UK and in the USA and in other parts of the world since 2018. And it was really disappointing guys, because initially I thought that, wow, this is the one that we've been waiting for. I was hoping that maybe 16 gig storage maybe, and maybe just two gig RAM, so nothing too crazy, but, that would make a massive difference to the current 4K Fire Stick where people are always struggling with the amount of storage that it has. And of course, having just 1.5 gigs of RAM, it does struggle when you try and do too many things at the same time. And then you're forced to constantly force close applications or terminate apps and all that kind of you know manual stuff. So unfortunately, this is not that device. I still hope that Amazon do release a brand new device for 2021, which hopefully has some kind of upgraded specs to the current 4K Fire Stick. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Let me just ask that if you are subscribed to me, then please just double check and make sure that you have clicked here and you've selected all. And the very important reason for that is, is because I mostly do tutorials on the Fire Stick and on the Android TV devices, many a times with your feedback, with your responses, I quickly need to either add some extra instructions or provide some extra feedback. And the way I typically do that is by community posts. So normally after the next day of publishing a video, I create a new community post, which has either you know more instructions, has some feedback or just some extra pointers to help you understand the steps of that video. And if you haven't clicked on all, then you won't get any notifications for those posts. And many thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and definitely hit that notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this Fire Stick. Are you gonna buy it just for that new remote control or are you gonna wait for something else? Do leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.